President Mike Pence in Metro Detroit today talking up President Trump's tax plan, making remarks at American Axle in Auburn Hills. And our business editor, Rob Maloney, was there to show us a little bit more about what's in the plan and what it would mean come tax time if it's approved. From the very beginning, President Trump said making America great, as he likes to put it, means having a great American economy. And in order to make that happen, he believes, it's putting more money back in your pocket. Thus the theme we heard from the vice president today. Quick look at the tax cut proposal starts with simplifying your taxes, cutting seven brackets down to just three. We're going to cut taxes across the board for working families, small businesses and family farms. Up next is a greatly increased standard deduction, the number after which you can start paying your tax. Right now, if you're single, it's $6,350, twice that if you're married. The new proposal would make the single standard deduction $12,000 and $24,000 if you're married, eliminating most write-offs. We're going to make sure that nearly every American can file their taxes by themselves on a single sheet of paper. The sweeping changes go on. Right now, the child tax credit's $1,000 per child. The new plan increases that, but also increases the phase-outs so that more families qualify. And it eliminates the marriage penalty, which forces newlyweds to pay more in tax than they would have when they were single. You know, there's an old joke that the tax code is 10 times the length of the Bible with none of the good news. <laughs> We've got to fix this tax code. And that's what they claim they are going to do. Now, the plan keeps in place mortgage interest and charitable deductions, which had a lot of people concerned previously. It's also going to seek to reduce the U.S. corporate income, or corporate tax rate from 35 percent, the business tax rate from 35 percent down to 20. Pence says that he believes he can get bipartisan support and thinks Congress can pass this by Christmas. We'll see. Back to you. Well, I'm curious about your thoughts on that, Rod. We've seen these uh, fractures in the GOP that have kept them from uh, making changes to American health care. What's the outlook here, you think? Well, you know, th th this is a proposal, and of course it goes into Washington. You have K Street, you have a lot of lobbyists who are not going to want a lot of these changes coming in. And that's in many ways how it was that the tax code got to be so unwieldy in the first yeah, place. Yeah. So this is going to be a pitched battle. This is going to be no easier than it was in the health care debate. All right, Rod Maloney reporting for us this afternoon. All right, Rod.